get all these great project ideas but need a way to keep track of them? Think of a great project, but you're in the middle of something and want to come back to the idea later so you can really plan it out. Do you have post-its that are just free-floating all over the place with project ideas, and you've lost half of them or can't remember where you put them all? I have a solution for you, and you'll be amazed at how well this works. So stick around while I show you exactly how to create your own planner for projects. And this is another great digital product that you can sell on Etsy. Now before we jump in, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my tutorials. For our planner series, one of the things that I think is a must-have is a project planner. Not a big year-long business project planner, but you could certainly use this tutorial to make one. But I'm talking about a planner where you have a spot to jot down the project ideas that come to mind so that you can keep track of those amazing ideas. And there are lots of printable project planners for sale on Etsy. So this is certainly an item that you can add to your digital download business. I looked through hundreds of templates on Canva, I perused Pinterest, and I picked some of the ones that had things I liked about them. And then I used those to make my own project planner. I did sketch this out first on paper so I would know what sections I definitely wanted to include. And I'm a firm believer that the more you make your printable suit you, make it pretty, fun, or interesting, the more you'll use it. I opened my artboard in an eight and a half by 11 inch size, but you can create whatever size you prefer. Start with the background, add the element you want for the background, right click, and set as background. Now, I'm going to add a square from the element and this is going to be where the main information will go. I'll pull the sides to fill most of the page. Pull it out to the side, pull it down to the bottom, then to position, center, and middle. Now we'll change the color to match the background. We're going to make it a clear white and we're going to lock it in place. Now, I'm going to pull a guide over to the middle of the page. You'll know it's in the middle because it will turn this pinky purple color. I'm going to add a block first. I like to have a block where I can draw a quick sketch of my idea if I need to. So I'm going to add the square, pull it up to this corner, and then I'm going to stretch it to the middle guide down the bottom to give a little more room and then change the color to whatever you want to match. Next, we're going to add lines for this section. Go back to Elements, pick your line, and place this where you want the top line of this section. Be sure to remember to leave space for your title for the section. Place it right up against the middle guide bar and pull it out to the end of the white block. Then to the Line Style tab, adjust your line weight, go back to the line, Control D to duplicate the line, and pull this down to where you want the bottom line of this section. Now go back to the top line and Control D as many times as you want line. And you don't have to worry about getting them perfectly lined up. We will take care of that part. Just add as many lines as you want. And then we'll select all. We'll go to position and tidy up. You can see that this evenly spaces the lines and lines them up perfectly. We'll slide this over to this section. And while they're still selected, group them together. Now we're going to go add a text box from the text tab. 
this is going to be the title for the section, and we're going to call it Details. And now we'll slide it up to the section where we want the title. Now I'm going to copy this box, and I'm going to pull it down to this section here. And I'm going to stretch this top right up to the bottom of that line. I'll copy the title of this section and pull it down. And I'm going to title this section Tools. And then I'll line it up where I want it. Now we'll go back to this section of lines. And since they're grouped together, all we have to do is select them and Control D. And that duplicates them and bring them down to this section. Once you have them placed where you want them, that section is complete. Now for this section, I'm going to give it a little more visual interest. Go to Elements, add a line, place it where you want it in this section. Pull it to the middle guide bar, go to the Line Style tab, and I'm going to choose the dotted line. And then you will adjust your line weight if you need to. But I think a 4 works for this section and this line. So I'm going to Control D to duplicate this line and bring it down to the bottom where I want the bottom line in this section. And then, of course, we'll Control D. And I'm going to just kind of add them and match them up as best as I can with the lines in the section next to it. Don't worry about placement. Then we'll select all go to position, and tidy up. And now you can see that they are evenly spaced and they match the lines in the section next to it. Group them together. Now we'll control D and duplicate this title and we're gonna call this section supplies. Line it up. Now I'm going to control D this title. I'm gonna bring it down to the very bottom section right here. I'm gonna sh shrink it down so that it fits where I want it and then I'll slide it and place it exactly where it needs to be for this little section at the bottom. Now we'll add some decorations to make it more personalized, interesting, and fun. The more you love it, the more you'll use it. And I've already pre-selected my graphic, so I'm going to add those to the artboard. And any time that you have a graphic that just has an abnormally large box around it, just pull the sides in closer to the graphic to make it easier to work with. Place it where we want it and resize it. This one I'm going to control D and copy it to the supplies section. Now I'll add this graphic and again just pull in these sides closer to the actual image and it just makes it easier to work with. We'll shrink it down and place it where we want it in this section up here. We do have a little bit more room, so I'll extend it a little bit, make it a little bigger. Now we'll add this graphic to this section. And I want this one too, so I'm going to add it. I'm going to shrink it down, and I'm going to place it where I want it. You could stop here and print multiple copies of this one page, but I like color, and I like to keep things interesting. So I'm going to come down to this box right click and duplicate page. Now we'll go to this new page and we'll change the background on it. Add the element we want to be the new background, right click and replace background. Next, we'll change the color of these yellow blocks to match the background. So to go to the color box, pick your color, we'll go to this box and change that color and now you have a completed project planner. It was that quick and that easy. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I really hope you have fun creating your project planners. I'll include a link in the description so you can get your free 30-day trial of Canva Pro and access all the elements to get creative and make it 100% your own. Plus, be sure to download my free 223 Canva Elements keyword list to help you find those hidden gems to add to your project planner. And of course, please feel free to post any questions or comments. I truly love hearing from you all. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new tutorial is posted. In addition, 
be sure to sign up for the wait list for my complete Canva course. If you're a beginner or a novice Canva user, you're going to want to take the class. After using Canva since 2013, when you finish my course, you'll be an absolute pro at using Canva. It'll have a limited class size, so you want to get your name on that waiting list so you'll get first dibs when it launches at the end of October. I'll be back next week with another tutorial, and until then, have a fabulous week and enjoy your Canva.